With us on set is Kevin Wood, and he is a media producer, and we have teamed up together to do a taste of, I guess, process, series almost. Uh, it's so exciting to have him here, and we're gonna be talking to you about where we've been going, what we've been tasting, and what we've been doing. Hello, my friend. Hello, Donna. So, Taste Of, it was your concept, you invited me, so let's talk about what that is. Okay, Taste Of, right? Whether it be restaurants, local, of course, always, wineries or craft breweries, they all line up in one central location. The participant or the, uh, if you will, the visitor comes in and has a taste of all the local fare. And of course, we love to cover it because after we work hard for two hours talking to all the vendors and restaurants, we get to have a little too. <laughs> bon appetit. And time. I love food and I know you do too, you know? I do, I enjoy it. And you know what I really love is I love talking about to the restaurant tours because they take such pride. It's their special recipe that they've been making, right? It's usually the best thing on their menu. Yep. And so everything's always delicious and always fresh. Yeah, it's fantastic. So where have we been? Well, we first started together in Port Jeff and people just kind of really loved what you did. I mean, you were the on, on person uh, talent. And, and people loved what you did, the way you covered it, the way you really felt really passionate about the vendors that were there. So we started in Port Jefferson, and then we went just recently to the aquarium in Riverhead. And that was awesome. If you want to show a clip of that, people should see that. Yeah, okay, yeah. let's go to Port Jeff first. We're here today in beautiful Port Jefferson, and I'm Donna Drake with Port Jefferson Live. Step inside to the Village Center where there is a taste going on. That's right, the taste of Port Jefferson by the Chamber. Let's go! Woohoo! I'm here as a guest of the Chamber of Commerce, as a VIP judge. Everybody wants to have a signature dish that they want to feature at the restaurant, so it's a great way to give them exposure. And it's one of our favorite events kicking off the fall. We have all different types of holiday specials, including our pineapple pops, our dipped bananas, apples, you name it, we have it. <laughs> now tell me how good it is. Oh my God, it's delicious. <laughs> it's all hand milled, really, really high quality grits, smoked cheddar, uh, and then we have some shrimp. This is a moment for smell-o-vision. <laughs> Chef David, I'm serious. It smells so good. We're doing a quinoa and zucchini cake, a maple butternut roasted squash and rugula salad, and a split pea and tomato crostini. It looks delicious. Did you think it was yummy and tasty? Everything is yummy and tasty, but it's also healthy, which is my favorite combination of things. So. This is a Belgian triple that we make right here in Port Jefferson. So this actually won the third best beer in New York State at Tap New York, which is a big brewer's festival up at Hunter Mountain. I think you just converted me from Malbec to uh, Belgian triple. There you go. <laughs> Welcome to the club. This is our seventh annual taste. It's a very important fundraiser for the Greater Port Jefferson Chamber of Commerce, and it's always a very successful event. And restaurant week will be coming up, and that's one of the reasons we host this event, kind of gets them out and about and advertise what they can feature through the winter season. Port Jefferson is pretty much known as a tourist space that people love to come to see the water like a, on a day like today. But in the winter months, we are fortunate to have these Cornerstone restaurants. They, they just really help uh, sustain the, the economy and the residents enjoy coming down too. People seem to be having a great time. A lot of people came down. We got a gorgeous day. Can't ask for more. Thank you for watching Port Jefferson Live. We'd love to hear from you. Reach out to us. Thanks so much. The food was delicious, and they give awards, which is kind of cool, right? Judging, yes. Yeah. I'll be a judge in Port Jeff next time. Oh, you will? Yeah, I want to be the seafood judge, the raw food, because I love oysters, clams, and those types of things, and you know what? People don't always get it right, so I'm, I'm looking forward to that. And I love Port Jeff because this year I got to do all the renderings uh, for the tour that they do. You know, they do the holiday tour of all yes. the beautiful Victorian homes, and I rendered all those. Did you know that? No, I did not. I designed their ticket this year. They asked me oh, to commission wonderful. me to do the house portraits. Very so we have nice. this whole, like, synergy going. Um, and let's take a look at the East End. Tell okay. us about that event. That was fantastic. Well, that, as you know, we got tired just going from the top of the hotel to all the way outside near the flippers and the dolphins and all. So it, it had to be like a quarter mile. So we covered all, I don't know, 100 booths or whatever, and that was awesome. So. And the music and the fun. Right. So let's take a look at that. Yeah.
Welcome to Taste the East End. I'm Donna Drake, and we are at the Long Island Aquarium in Riverhead, New York. wonderful event. It highlights the entire East End, the North and South Fork of Long Island. Uh, we have about a thousand people here this evening, uh, about 60 vendors between restaurants, vineyards, breweries, and we have a pickle guy here. We have this guy over making, making pizza over here. It's a, really, it's a, great, it's a great event. We have uh, wood-burning brick oven pizza. We use uh, homemade uh, mozzarella, imported sopressata, imported uh, San Marzano tomatoes. Well, the thing with That's the good. pizza, from what I understand, is that the mozzarella cheese is handmade, homemade by the establishment that makes the pizza. It's really? Not the back. That's what he said. That's why I came back for two or three. Well, actually, I'm going to share it with you. Here you go. Is that mm. good? It's really good. Now tell me about the cheese. How do you make that cheese? Oh, well, I tell you, then I have to kill you. Oh, no, really? Yeah. Right now? Like right here? <laughs> With me now is a wonderful couple, and they happen to have this brew, which is called Mustache. Tell us about your brewing company. Uh, we are a small brewery right here in, uh, in Riverhead, around the corner over here. We're basically a mom and pop business. The brewery is our child. And what are you offering? We have two beers right now. We have our uh, our porter uh, and uh, our IPA of the month. So every month we do a new IPA. So we have May's IPA here with us as well. What are whoopie pies? They are moist, fluffy chocolate cakes with a fluffy vanilla marshmallow buttercream. I have never had a whoopie pie, but this is Rosie's and I'm gonna try it. So you just kind of like squeeze it and bite? Whatever way you like. Mmm. Mm. Yum. So uh, tell us what you're pouring here tonight. All right, so today we're pouring a combination of our potato vodka, our raspberry sorbetta, and lemonade. And what is a sorbetta? Sorbetta is the name we give to our flavored vodkas. Okay. Um, very popular. It's probably our most popular cocktail served at our establishment. And LIV stands for Long Island. Yes, Long Island Vodka. So tell me, what's in that? What is in that? That looks so good. This is a vegetarian Moroccan chickpea stew, and these are meatballs. So whether you're a vegetarian or you eat meat, what I sell is a spice called chorissa, a Moroccan-inspired seasoning. So you can try it on this or you can try it on that. Come with me, we're going over the bridge. This place is huge. Let's go, there's more food this way. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Bloody Mary mix, no alcohol, fresh oysters, oyster ponds, oysters, out in Orient, you shoot it, you chew it, you're good. All right, well, we're leaving the aquarium and I'm going to throw a penny in the fountain to make a great wish. We hope you enjoyed Taste of the East End. Wow. Yeah. So what did you think? Uh, you, you tried a few things. You had a little bit of the Murphs. I love the Murphs okay. because, again, the oysters were in that. We dipped it into that red sauce, and you know you know that sauce better than anybody. Right. And Murphs, so that was fun. We got a little of that. And you know what was really good was the oven roast, uh, the oven pizza. My favorite. Yeah, that guy was really popular. I want to go out there for dinner. I, yeah. You know, I think that's one thing that uh, these tastes of spring is the opportunity for you to meet the restaurateurs, for you to taste a little something, and then for you to, like, make plans to go visit the restaurant. That's why they do it. That's why they're able to give away food like that. Just little bite-sized pieces because, let's face it, you're visiting 30, 40 of these, so you have to have a little bit of each one, a taste of. <laughs> uh, which, by the way, I want to talk about the ones that are coming up. Sure. Where are we going? So there's something really cool in Riverhead coming up on July 17th. It's called the River Craft Beverage Event. Okay. That's only going to be beverages, craft in nature, and food trucks, which are the rage now. Okay. So that's great. July 17th, 12th, I'm sorry, July 18th, 12th, 30 to 4. And then that same day, plus the 18th as well, that weekend is the Taste of Two Forks. Dan's Papers puts that on. I'm going to have to bring our appetite. And I think there's like 2,500 people at minimum that go to that. That's probably one of the biggest. And then close to you and I and yes. dear to us is our good friends at the Long Beach International Film Festival on the ocean, right, August 7th. 
starting 5 to 8 with movies on the beach. That'll be called The Taste on the Beach. Oh, and as nice. you know, they have many great restaurants already lined up. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. I enjoy this because it gets us out in the community. It helps bring the whole community together. It's a great way to raise money sometimes for different fundraisers, mm -hmm. and it helps support local business. Yep. So I'm looking forward to it. And one more item. They bring usually local farming food from farm to table, so it's farm to taste. So it promotes that as well. Yeah, so sustainability. Right. Yeah, I love that. I've, I'm actually building my own vegetable garden this what year. Did you, you know that? Did you see Did you see my Facebook page? No. My kale chips? No. Oh, I did see your Kay kale Woods chips. Kay Woods Long Island Homegrown Kale Chips. It was born I this did. weekend. I did. Yeah. So I just decided to do above ground gardens this year. So I did these veg trugs, right? Yeah. Um, and then um, Dodds and Edder out of Oyster Bay is helping me do the plantains oh, and stuff. Cool. So, But kale chips sounds good. Right. All right. It's so the way to go. go. It's the way to go. This is so funny. Food. <laughs> <laughs> so if you love food as much as we do, please join us at one of these taste ofs. We will be there full force. We'd love to meet you and have a bite with you. Stay tuned for more on Live It Up.